I, um, as Sharon mentioned, I had this kind of long and crazy path from being a litigator for six years, and then I had this passion about television entertainment, and it, it took me, uh, you know, it was one of those weird things that it was very tough to break in. It took me two years to, to break in, and finally I was able to get a job at Columbia Television, and I loved television. I loved what, what uh, it meant. I loved where it was going, and when I started, frankly, uh, there were, you know, just three main networks, and uh, I kind of watched uh, cable um, emerge in the, in the late 80s, early 90s. And um, what I was most, well, part of it was the fun of the creative process and the, and the business side and where all that was going, but I also was always very, very interested in where television could go. And this kind of started, and, and all the different wonderful platforms con content could live. So when I was at uh, CBS, I kind of played the role of not, over, not only overseeing the network in the studio, but uh, before CBS acquired CNET, I oversaw CBS.com, and I started their mobile initiative. Um, it was something, you know, I spent a lot of time in San Francisco. Uh, I spoke to a lot of startups and entrepreneurs, and I, I must say that the spirit of, the entrepreneurial spirit is really what was very exciting about where it was, and really looking outside the existing business models and how content could be delivered was something that really sparked me. So I was a little bit of a gadfly while I was at CBS, and I would, you know, routinely go into less and say, you know, we should really think about this and this and that. You know, for me personally, I was growing more and more curious and um, uh, about you know where things were going. I was meeting with a lot more startups. I was bringing in, trying to figure out how content not only could be delivered differently, but how we could create content and experience it differently. And then I really was watching as everyone was kind of denying how things were changing, hmm. that, that um, <laughs> things were changing. And, um, and I kind of, I say this a lot, but it, it really was very much of like a hockey stick, which that's what change is all about. You, you, you don't see that it's changing, but then you hit an inflection point, and then you say, my God, it, it is what happened? Well, all this has been happening for a very, very long time, and I think when I finally came to that conclusion where I really had to um, try something very new, and you know, and I had been talking to Leslie about it for some time, and we talk about it even now that that it was something that I had been talking about for a long time. I really wanted to be a part of that change, and I really felt that um, if I didn't jump, that I was going to miss that moment in the inflection to be a part of that change, and and that kind of um, you know informed me as to as much as I loved working at CBS and I love all the people there. Uh, and I really, en really enjoyed my job. I really felt that I really wanted to be, frankly, in a little bit more of a disruptive role.